Hi, I'm Dad Masik from Master Engine Tuner Magazine. I'm Justin. And I'm Brandon. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> Today we're going to talk to you about the Engage. This is a new product that's sold through HP Tuners. Uh, cute little device, works really well. Uh, what we're going to do is show you the functions that this thing has, as well as uh, my favorite feature, which is to be able to load multiple tunes on this gauge on the SD card, to have uh, the ability to take a car like this Boss Mustang 302 that we've got over here to the track. We can now load in several different tunes. I think you're going to find it's really worthwhile. So we'll get to this. We'll show you how the gauge works, tell you a little bit about the car, and of course show you how HP Tuners works with this device to allow this to act as a handheld tuner. So stick with us. We'll take a look right now. So what we have here is a 2013 Ford Mustang Boss 302, which has 440 horsepower as opposed to the 420 that the GT has attributed to its revamped heads and intake manifold, also matched with a higher lift exhaust cam allowing it to rev to 7,500 RPM. As we can see here, Ford instructs us clearly not to put E85 in this vehicle. But who likes to play by the rules? We're going to do it anyway. All right, well, thanks for that, Justin. Uh, although I suppose technically we aren't breaking any rules because number one is we never expect any warranty to come through should we do something to a vehicle for performance and sake of our track running. Um, we can't ever expect a factory to honor a warranty when we've gone and played with the car. So that aside, the other thing is, is that you got to be mindful of the fuel that you're using. We're using E85. Ford doesn't recommend that for the Boss 302 because the calibration is not set up for it. And we don't know that all the parts in the car are certified for it. So you may get corrosion, leaking, stuff like that. Uh, that's going to be obviously a, a durability issue and a reliability issue. It's going to affect emissions. So you definitely can't run this on the street and expect the emissions to remain intact. Uh, we're not doing that. We're basically going to run this car on the track once in a while. And when we're running it on the track, I mean, it's such a small percentage of the time this vehicle is being driven. The rest of the time it's going to be on the street or we'll be running it on 93 octane. So having said that, we're basically going to write two different tunes for this car. We're basically going to write uh, two different calibrations, I should say. One is going to be tuned for 93 octane. The other one's going to be done for E85. Now, the factory set this thing up. It's strung out pretty well, but they also make sure that the calibration is set up for 91 octane, something that's not necessarily what we've got here on the East Coast. So we'll show you how to set that up. We'll show you how to do the E85 really quick and to put those files onto the Engage. Um, but before we do that, obviously, we'll put you through to Brandon so he can tell you a little bit about the Engage. So the Engage is very easy to install. You plug it into your OBD2 connector along with the Ethernet cord on the back of the gauge. The gauge comes with an installation pod, but a lot of Mustang owners prefer to put it in the left-hand AC vent because it's a perfect fit and allows you access to your SD card on the back, which also stores your tunes and your data log. So as your Engage powers up, you have three different functions, gauges, tuning, and diagnostics. Gauges allows you to switch from analog to a four window or a six window view of many different settings of what you would like to read from your car. You also then have the ability to change your multi LED across the top. Next would be tuning. Tuning allows you to go in and choose any tune that you possibly have set up for your car. This specifically comes with a four gigabyte card which allows so many different sets of tunings or a few and lots and lots of data logging. You then have on top of that the diagnostics and the diagnostics allows you to read and clear codes based off of what your vehicle is doing. That's great stuff. Thanks Brandon. So as I said before, what we're going to do now is get back on the computer. We'll strap the car up on the dyno. First thing we're going to do is a quick tune for the 93 octane. We'll create a calibration for 93 octane fuel. Then we're going to drain the fuel tank, fill it with the 85. Once we've done that, we'll end up doing a second calibration, create a second calibration for use on 85. Once we get that all sorted out, obviously we'll make sure that we've got everything buttoned up. And I'll get back in the car and show you how to put those tunes onto the engage and uh, run from there. So hope you enjoy this. Okay, what we've got here is we've opened up our E85 calibration along with the stock calibration to use as a comparison. Um, when we're converting over to E85, the first thing that we've got to do is address the target AFR, the target air fuel ratio. 
So we do this by going to the engine section, then over to the subsection, the fuel subsection, and there you'll find the stock calibration, the stock target AFR showing stoichiometric air fuel ratio of 14.08. This is the factory calibration setting for the standard 91 octane pump gas you're going to find in the U.S., which is blended with up to 10% ethanol. So normally with straight gasoline, you'd have a target AFR of about 14.6, 14.7 to 1 would be your stoichiometric value. Uh, with up to E10 blend, you've got to make it a little bit richer, which is why the factory has it set at 14.08. Now, to run on E85, we know that we need to burn 30 to 35% more E85 to have a proper uh, burn. So the stoichiometric value there, what we've done is put that over to 9.85. So now this new target air fuel ratio, the stoichiometric value, is basically going to allow the computer to compensate for the E85 as opposed to the up to E10 blend that you're going to find in pump gas. So with this setting, the computer will now make all of the compensations that it needs to because we haven't changed anything else. We haven't changed injectors, not fuel system, nothing like that. So in this case, we put this value in, the computer will compensate for the E85. The next thing we're going to do to make sure we get a little bit of power out of this thing is we go over to the borderline spark table. And for wide open throttle, since we're running this thing on the track, we don't have to change any of these mapped point values because we're really not taking this car out on this, you know, we're not doing this in the street, we're not road racing it. This is basically going to be for drag strip runs. So all we need is the wide open throttle table, which is this one here, optimum power. And you'll see here, the stock values are obviously significantly lower than what we've got. Stock values, you've got these two ranges here are your highest loads. Obviously, this is low load, this is high load on the y-axis. X-axis is your engine speed. So You'll see here, you've got obviously values from 3,000 RPM, 18 degrees up to, I should say, down to 17 at 7,500. Obviously a little bit lower if you go into the 1.1 load point. Um, in our case, what we've done is we've increased these values anywhere from 2 to 5 degrees advance. This basically puts the cylinder pressure back where we need it to get optimum torque and therefore horsepower out of this engine. So once we've made this change, now obviously this particular change this was our fourth iteration because we obviously dyno tested this you can see the difference in the dyno graphs in the article um, now what we've done since we've got this calibration ready what we can do is we want to put it on our sd card to install into our engage so easiest way to do this is to go over here to the top left corner click on file and over here you can click on export and you'll see hp tuners the guys there couldn't have made it easier you just click on to emotion and what it'll do is it'll save this file uh, as a compatible file for the engage. Now what we want to do is make sure we put it on our SD card. Our stock calibration on the SD card was saved in the stock file folder. We're going to put this one in custom files. So when we click here, what we're going to do is name this file just E85. We don't need to know here what revision it was. So this is now saved as our E85 revision, uh, our calibration on that SD card. Now, if we wanted to quickly throw our 93 octane tune, we can do that. We can simply open up that 93 octane calibration and do the exact same process. File, export to eMotion. Make sure that we're going to our SD card and then to custom files. There's the 85 calibration we saved. So here we're going to save the 93 octane file. That's it. It's literally that simple. Now what we can do is shut down the software here pull out our SD card out of the laptop, install it in our Engage, and then we can end up using the Engage uh, to load whichever calibration we want in our car, the Boss 302, whether we want the stock file, the 93 octane, the 85, they're all available to us now on the Engage. You can make as many calibrations as you like. That's the beauty of it. So we'll go back to Dyno and uh, see what we get. Now, one of my favorite things about the Engage is that you've got the tuning section. What's great about this is that you can basically use this as a handheld tuner, same way. This can hold multiple tunes. Again, it's a four gigabyte SD card, so you can literally put thousands of tunes on this one card. Um, you can get into the load tune section. You can always load the stock tune, which actually when you go to load a custom tune into the car, the stock tune is automatically collected by the gauge. So that's a great feature. The instructions are in there. So you don't have to worry about you know, knowing exactly how to do it. The instructions come up screen by screen. You literally can't mess this up. These guys made a foolproof product. Um, but what we've got here is, we create a tune that's an E85 tune on the car, so we could use that at the racetrack with this uh, Boss 302. And in the gauge, we now have an E85 section, uh, E85 tune loaded in, and that's exactly what we do. Is now we basically just select the E85 tune, and the gauge will bring that up, and we can automatically load it in the car. Now, while we're at the track, we can always turn around. As soon as we're done playing at the track, we want to go back home. 
We'll load in our 93 octane tune, put that back in. No need to carry your laptop to the track anymore. Still take it if you want to do extensive data logging with the laptop, your HP tuners cable. But again, the gauge does the data logging as well, so you've got both sides of it. So at the end of the day, really well engineered product, really well thought out. We're really happy with this, so I think we're going to pick one up for ourselves as well.